Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Cyberlab and today will be another video about Oracle Cloud. There's two that this video is kind of a continuation or next step from the last video. The last video I show how you install Navidrom and in this case I install in my local machine. But in the website I was looking that they suggest that you can install in a VPS or virtual machine. And in this case I can use a Oracle Cloud that I have access and is for free but have a little bit limitation. The problem for Oracle Cloud, you don't have so much space. Massimo, I think that's 200 gigabyte. If you want to make your music serve only with 200 gigabyte, you're gonna see that it will be around 20,000 music and that's it, give or take. So it's better you do another option to get more data and to have all your library only in one place. If you like this video and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and let's see how to do it. First thing that I'm gonna show in this video, it's about the Navidrome and what you should expect with this application. If you already saw the previous video and think that's unnecessary for you, please jump a few minutes ahead, but I needed to show it because some people didn't see my previous video and it's the first time that looking for this application. If I look here, what they say, basically this application will get all your music and make a music server. If I come here down, they have a lot of information here that's interesting for you to look. One of the important things that you need to look is that you uh, can handle a large library and they work with uh, limited uh, resource. So if you have a, a Raspberry Pi or have a really low VPS, they will work quite well. If I come here about, they will go for an Ox page where they will show a kind of how look like this application in your phone or in your computer or in your tablet and continue on. As well, they say that it's really similar for Spotify, Apple Music and others, so you know what you should expect. You have a freedom for self-hosting all your music server. It's fine if you don't like to download music or you don't have your own music, it's not for you. But if you already have, it's the best way that instead of have everything in your computer or have a flash drive with all this data, you can stream for every place. Principally, that's now these phones. It's uh, have uh, internet everywhere that you go, so it's quite easy. But uh, let's go for our demo to see what we have. Before I come here and put demo site, I will show why I decided that it's interesting to show how to install the Oracle Cloud. It's exactly for this one. Demo serve configuration, they use this information. They use this server by VM. And uh, in this way, they use one core, 512 megabytes of uh, run, 10 gigabytes of uh, raw capacity. But uh, what we have in our Oracle Cloud instance? If I open it here, I have Oracle Cloud instance. Don't worry about the name, it's only some trial that I was doing. Maybe we'll post this video, maybe not, it's not work so well. But uh, if I go down, I have my shape with one core, one gigabyte of band. I don't know if that one have exactly the same band or not, but I don't believe that you're gonna need much more with uh, music. I have six gigabytes of RAM, at least 12 times more, and uh, I have 50 gigabytes of uh, capacity also, five times more. If I come here back, I can come in my Go Our Demo. Remember, use and passwords here. If you want to try yourself before you install it, it's a good option. You go here in Go's website. If I come here, they already show some music that they have. They have um, 45 albums. If I open an album, you can see the music that is and the format that you would play. If you put your transcode, I think that they didn't build this option, but if you put your transcode, they would transcode all the music in the same format. This way, you don't need to worry about different levels of uh, noise that you're gonna listen. No, if you're listening that that music is really low, you put and really high. As well, you can come here and put download and you can download this music or this album all the time. You don't need to listen only there. Also, you can put edit to playlist and you can define different playlists. Suppose that you want to have a gym time, so you put the playlist for gym or you have uh, offset time, or you have uh, relax time, or party time, you can make different uh, playlists in the way that you want. If you like this view, and you think that's interesting for you, then you go for the next step. Next step is do some small installations. First thing, 
once that you create your Oracle instance, they don't have anything at all. So what you need to do, you need to install Docker, you need to install Portrait, and you need to install Arclone. In my view, it's quite easy to do. I already did the other video, so I'm not sure how to install it, but I go through the installation. If I come here in my SSH, in my case, I'm using Putty, uh, I go for my Arclone configuration, Arclone config. In my Arclone config, I created two mounting points. The first one will be my G drive, where I connect my D drive, but I don't like that Google know what I have in my drive. So I create a crypt folder, and this crypt folder, they are looking for my G drive information. I have this one, I can go out from this one, and I make a mount position. If I come here and put CD, MMT, and enter this folder, I put LS, and I have some configuration. Basically, I create a, a G Media Cloud, where we'll have all the information, cache and logs, and here will be my cloud on where I will have my information. If I come here and copy this, if I put nano, G drive serves in one of the videos. I show how you can do it. Or this is script if you want, I can put it there, or you can look for another video that I post. I will try to put this video here. Then you can go and access it directly. But basically what I did, I have my root configuration where I use the root to do all my Arclone configuration. If I didn't do it and use my Ubuntu, I needed to change it for Ubuntu. My user allowed others, otherwise if I'm using as Ubuntu or root, they will not allow it. I have a time for cache 1000 hours. As I told, I create Arclone cache, and that's there I save all my cache. If I come here, mode of cache is full, 20 gigabytes of information. If I go a little bit down, 12 hours. Here will be my mount point, cloud. So now I can con contracts, save it, doesn't matter. And I can go CD, cloud, and now I'm inside this cloud. If I put LS, I have all my media there. If I come in CD, music, music, now my music, I put LS to see everything. I have a lot of music but I don't want to open all those. I only want to select this one collection album because I want to locate it. So if I put CD and exactly the same name, I am inside this folder. I can clear everything to be more tight and I put LS. Here will be my music, different best of albums and continue on. Have this one in mind, I can go and open my portainer to show what configuration that I did in my portainer. If I didn't told that you need to install a portainer, yes, you need to install a portainer, it's really good, it's really easy to manage everything. So I come here and I open my portainer. Here my portainer, I already installed some applications. First, first one will be my proxy manager. Here I already installed this application, but what is image is this? Let's go in the image page. This image will be exactly this one, has been updated eight days ago and have over 10 million downloads. If I go a little bit down, they describe what kind of features that they will have. Look like handle, very large music collection, stream virtual, any audio format available, and continue, continue. They say that don't use so much run memory, we can check it. They suggest to use this hosting that they are affiliate, but we are using Oracle Cloud, so we don't need to do it. And if I come here, I will install exactly this Docker Compose. I come here, my portrait, come my stock, and open this stock that I create with that Docker Compose with some modifications. And here I create all my information, all, all my configuration for this application, this location, slash MMT, slash Navidrom. And that's uh, the music is located exactly this one, cloud. I put music in the collection album because I have a lot of music and I don't want that they scan everything from zero. I only want to scan one folder, collection album. So I have this one, I put update the stock, and now they will appear that is start. If you did everything right so far, you can come here and come log, and they should start to scan all your media and say what kind of music, where it's located, and what they're doing. So now is the step that we can go for our proxy manager. If we open our proxy manager, I already created my website. I use exactly the same IP address for my virtual machine. If I come here, exactly the same and the port 4533. One thing that I did, I come here and edit, and I allowed these two, and as well in my SSL, I created those. Because I'm using a Cloudflare, I did a DNS challenge, so if I come here, 
the certification is Let's Encrypt Cloudflare. It's not directly on Let's Encrypt, but they use Cloudflare as a DNS challenge. What, in my view, it's a little bit better, but not make any difference for your day day base running. So if I have everything done, they will not work because I didn't open my port. If I come here in my instance cloud, I open this one, and here I will open my uh, subnet. Here in subnet, I will open my default security list, and I will create a new rule. If I come here and put edit, what rule that I create? I create with this source, TCP, and uh, the port is 4533. And I put in the name, you don't need to put the name, but I put only for I remember what it's work on. Have this one. Now I come here in my portainer and I open this link. Once that I open, the red open my system. I already did my login, but potentially I can come in users and can add other users. And if I put all, they will have all the music. So far it's 34,000 albums. I don't know how they will work because it's not necessary that it's the same artist. It's different artists, best music of that artist. So if I come here and uh, put our artists, they will have really lots of artists because each music will be a different artist almost, you know. So far they run for 23 hours, 24 hours, and they scan 407 different folders. You're gonna ask they scan all? No, I will show why. If I come here and open my album collection, I have all my media here. If I look here down, I have 833 but not necessarily that one media have only one folder. If I open here, I have multiple folders per media. It means that I will have around 39,000 music and uh, 2,173 folders. I don't know how they will scan it, but I believe that they will scan uh, 833, what I should expect. I will wait, wait it to finish and uh, will take a really long time. Remember that I told that they take long time to scan? Yes, it's because of it. Uh, if, uh, if going this way, at least more one day to scan all my folders. Now I will see how much impact of my system is using. So if I come here in my SSH and come here and put clear and I put df slash h, I can see what they're using. So far, my system used 19 gigabytes. I know that I have that small information for my system as well. They are using some cache. I don't believe that they're using so much, but uh, you never know. You need to wait to finish this scan until I say, yes, they use a lot or not. Also, I have my crypto drive, as I told, mount. I have 1.1 pentabytes and only 93 terabytes is using. So it's around 9%. For run memory, they're using basically nothing. But uh, this one don't represent so much for me. Let's go for the metrics for my Oracle Cloud. If I open here my Oracle Cloud, my instance again, and go here down, I see that my CPU is using only 1%, almost nothing. My run memory is used a little bit more, but not so much. What I can see, it's a disk uh, reading nothing, but the disk write quite a lot. Why? Because they are writing all the cache in my system. If I go a little bit down, the internet is not uh, transmit anything, but they're reading quite a lot. Sometimes have a peak. I think that this peak now don't match against of uh, what uh, I read. I think that uh, for some reason they look a little bit more and that the load it's using at least to one. I don't know what's the maximum, but I believe that it's kind of a half of load that you can have. So guys, I hope that you like this video. This video was quite fast. I only show how you can do. I didn't show step by step because I read the post all this video about it and that will be quite repeatable. And I think that if you want to look step by step, you can go for that video. Don't need to go specific for this one. Remember this step that I show it's uh, for Oracle Cloud, but potentially can work any kind of VPS that you have or any kind of uh, hosting that you have, that you have a uh, properly share hosting or you can install it. If you like this video, don't forget to leave your like. If you don't like, leave your dislike. Consider to subscribe for the channel. See you next time. Bye.